Hello everybody, my name is Aceface. Today we're going to be doing some Triglavian hunting as an Alpha Clone. I want to fine tune my skills using this Naga as an Alpha Clone. And I would also preferably want to find some respawning Triglavian fleets if we can. Because in the system of Sirishin, I was here previously with my Chronos and I destroyed a few initial fleets. I'm hoping that we could find some respawning fleets in here, but we're not seeing too many Triglavians in the scan, so it could mean that there's not a whole lot of respawning fleets here. We'll see, we'll see. But I'll just uh, s scan down the wormhole and see if there's any fleets here at all. Because there was also someone here, a Kronos here, taking out uh, the wormhole fleet. So if that's not taken care of, then obviously we're not going to find any uh, respawning fleets. So it, it could mean that there is a possibility he didn't take him out. But I never know. I just didn't see him take out the last Triglavian. But I think there's high likelihood that he did. Because there was very few Triglavians left when he was there. Okay, let's grab these guys right here. Wormhole level 2, the Triglavian wormhole. Okay, there we go. We'll warp within 100 and see if there's anything here. Have we got MTUs? Have we got MTUs? Yes, we've got MTUs. I should also refit. Good idea to refit if we're going to go out here and fight. I mean, we are quite far away from some of the planetary bodies. I mean, most of them are in range though, so I don't think... Well, I think these are the only ones in the system right now. Because if they were respawning, there would be a bunch more. Okay, there are some actually. He did not take out the initial, uh, the Triglavian uh, wormhole fleet. That's very interesting. So we'll just write this here. S1, go back. Lock back up here. Oh, they're going fast. They're going super fast. <laughs> It's a bit strange because I was thinking we would maybe find some more uh, respawning Triglavians, but we didn't do that there. Let's go to this S1 at 100. I think that'll be enough. Goldara Navy Antimatter. And we can also make a wall power bookmark too. When we get within like 10,000 kilometers. There we go. Okay, so they're at a decent range right here. Uranium. And we'll go towards the warp out we have over there. Align to warp out. Oof, that guy took a big hit. Popped, oof. Now we're just a grazing shot now. S2. Warp to the warp out. Very soon. He's getting a bit closer, a bit closer. And then we can warp out. He's still not too close for it to be too dangerous and it depends if we could perhaps knock him out as well if we do that would be really great but I don't think we'll be able to it really depends if we get lucky shots move a bit yeah that's optimal yeah poof, well that's great okay let's go for these rasable blindings it could be that we only need to destroy these few that are left. Then maybe the wormhole fleet has been taken care of since the Kronos that was here before. It destroyed. There's only like a, two Triglavians left on the grid. So maybe he just got, oh, I can't be bothered. And then this left approach location. We can grab the, get an MTU. Actually, they're too far away for an MTU, I think. So we'd have to then deploy it later. Yeah, I think this renewing or diva right here might be the last one. Or maybe it could be that the Triglavian fleet was already startled or completed, but they, uh, when you get this tick right here, there's still some NPCs left. Maybe they just didn't bother destroying the, uh, the rest of them. Because you can see we've got some spawning in right here, some Rasnaborgs. Or it could maybe be this one. Yeah, because we've not got anything here. Oh, there we go. We've got a bigger fleet right here. Okita right there. Need to watch out for this guy. He maybe went through the wormhole. <laughs> Okay, so we could probably deploy an MTU right here. Grab some of these wrecks at least. I think it's the same ones that we saw in the scan, those other ones. Oh no, these are just respawned in from before. Because I thought those, we remember we saw initially some uh, Hospodars on the scan. I was thinking that they uh, just warped in here, but no, they must have spawned from the wormhole. Power ring needs to be taken care of. He's going to do a lot of damage. Where is he, this power ring? Move here, get a good transversal, consume that synthrentic. It's always good to have to get some extra optimal range. Popped. 
in this hospital liminal. Oh, he's really going crazy. Look at that. Oh, yeah, he explodes right there. <laughs> so we can just sort of keep a bit of a good transversal on this uh, Kikimura. Take him out. And we might be getting some respawns in here, or it could just be that they're adding, the D-Scan is adding these guys with the initial ones that we saw before. I, I thought we were going to get more tr respawning Trigger Larvae and stuff, so it's a bit unfortunate, but we're getting still a decent amount of NPCs right here. That's good. Let's see where our bookmarks. We've got S3 over here. Let's go for that Dama. We can make an S3 bookmark just in case we need it. Go for this Rodiva, who's a bit closer. What is the optimal range on this? 120, 170. That's a decent optimal range. I think that's better optimal range than the Kronos. I think the Kronos has a really good fall off, but this has got a better optimal range. Or maybe this is this like this range is what you get with Thorium on the Kronos. The Kronos though I use has only one tracking computer. Yeah, it's tracking enhancers though. Uh, the tracking computers give a really good bonus to your optimal range. So my guess is just that these tracking computers really boost up the range so much that it's becoming almost better than the Kronos actually. Oh and that's some decent amount of uh, ships we've got here. Reload a bit. Maybe use called Arianeva Antimath. These guys are really close. There's Vidmac. Real close over there. I've got a decent amount of respawning fleets as well. Oof that was super fast. Hospital Liminal Damovic. It's our, like a, it's our lock range that really is the bottleneck right here. Otherwise you've got really good range. And just keep pulling range. Simple as that really. This Naga looks so damn cool. With this army skin. The weary Komi skin. We've got quite a few Triglavians here in this wormhole. The Naga doesn't really care though. <laughs> just the chewing straight through. And I think they might be all dying around the MTU. Mm, a little bit too far away from the MTU, but I think eventually they'll get close to the MTU. Let's keep an eye on that Damovic over there. He's getting pretty close. Oof, there's a lot of NPCs right here. I think it could be like there's a double spawn or something like that. But it feels like there's a lot more than usual. Let's try to get transversal a bit better here. 1.2k volley. Yeah, that's great. Mm hmm. Great. Go for this Kikimura. Here's a Damovic actually. They're faster. Blinding Kiki actually. A good idea to go for him. He's going to take a bit of time to get through. He's got a bit of HP. Got tons of NPC spawning in right here. I think it might have glitched out that someone has d done the Wormhole Fleet but not fully completed it. It might have like glitched out or something like that that we're getting extra spawns because it doesn't feel like we usually have this many spawns when we encounter Trigger Larvae and Wormhole Fleet. Or maybe just could be that it's a bit random and this happened to be that there's a lot this time. Oh, we're getting a bit low capacity right now. And then we take out this Liminal Damovic. I mean, uh, Kikimura. Uh, Vedmax is getting a bit too close for comfort, but I think we should be able to take him out with Kaldara Navy Antimatter. If we're lucky, but he is getting very, very close actually, and he's also able to hit us now. But it's just this Kikimura and the uh, and, uh, Vedmax. Nothing more. We just refit uh, uh, antimatter. We should be able to take out that Vedmac. Come on. Popped. Come on. Oh, he's so lucky. Oh, now he took them out of grey. Needs to be orbiting me now. We'll make a S4 and go to the warp out. And then go back to that S4 at 100. It wasn't a Razdenborg uh, Vedmax, he would go down very slowly, he was like a liminal one, or hospital even, liminal even. Warp within 100. Warp drive active. Well, that's a serious amount of uh, Rex we've got right here. It's Okata, I don't know what he's doing. I think he might be trying to transport stuff through wormholes and just, uh, he's uh, getting a bit like cloaking up or something. Are Okata's able to cloak? I think they can cloak. Okay, this hospital is going down right here. Come on, take him out. Ah, oh, he's getting in range again. <laughs> ah, we're going to have him to make another bookmark. And then warp to the warp out. Edit okay. location. I want to get be called S5, just to be a bit more numerical. <laughs> I 
and then warp within 100. It's pretty difficult when they get in these. The Triglavis can also get into a sweet spot location where I'm like forced to warp out the second I come in because now they're approaching me. Let's see now. If this hospital liminal is going to let us get close enough to destroy him, but not fire, but not cl too close that I get popped. He's 100 kilometers away. The issue is he's very tanky. He's very tanky and it's hard to destroy. 80 kilometers. We might be able to take him out now. He's got a decent amount of uh, armor though. You can see here. It's not easy. Warp out. We're just going to gonna continue doing like, the same thing until we eventually take out that Vedmac. He's a bit of a stubborn Vedmac over there. It was pretty quick. We managed to exterminate that Triglavian fleet very quickly. I don't warp within 100. Oh, warp within zero, I mean. Warp within zero. 100, yeah. There we go. We could try to land another bookmark here just when we get in range. If it helps, I don't think it'll help much. He's soon dead, though. That's good. See that Okata over there? Keeps, uh... Be cloaking and cloaking. Okay, penetrating shot. Now oh, that's good. Okay, so now we've taken out that guy now. Popped. Great. Stubborn Red Mac. We can deploy another MT over here. Because they will not. The, that one of this 400 kilometers away will not be able to pull in the, any of these wrecks. <laughs> oh, he's getting really close. This guy, 85 kilometers suddenly. I'm going to create an optimal transversal over here. If he doesn't get too close, there we go, good. Okay, wait, he's got 240, 140, 150, 250. We could warp in maybe 100 right here. Warp within 100. Right. Use Kaldari Navy on the way here because they're going to be a bit close. Maybe not. They seem to be very close now. If we can just get close to them, I think, instead. That'll be better. Nope, 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 no. I didn't warp it anyway. Come on now. I did not want to do that, <laughs> but luckily it was not too deadly. Uh, NPCs over here, only a ghoster and a Rodiva. A liminal Rodiva though, but only a ghoster. Who's a Rasnaborg. Come on, just two shot this guy, please. Just get him rid of him. There we go, good. Now this uh, Rodiva. Oh, we're missing completely. You can maybe walk within here. Warp within here. Anything we can warp within? Ah, come on now. Can't warp within anything. Maybe we can warp to one of these wrecks over here. Warp within here. And then we can probably get a good angle on these Triclavians. Because if you warp directly to the wormhole, I think they'll warp back to the wormhole. And these guys might warp back now. And perhaps now I can warp here to this S7. Active. And snipe them. <laughs> The old switcheroo. I wonder if you could do this with stealth bombers, have black bombers use torpedoes at long range. I think it be, could be possible if you're able to be cap stable and uh, MWD really quickly so you can get away from the Damovics. Otherwise it's going to be pretty difficult, I think. But it could definitely be something we could test out someday. I think it would be very interesting. This is the last limbal right here. The rest of them are around the morgues. Easy, easy. For those who are wondering uh, before I was not able to apply to the Rodiva who was close to me, thinking maybe why well, I should be able to supply to him. I mean he's a cruiser, he's pretty big. The reason is because we're using a Nanga with big guns. They don't apply at all well. And we're also using rail guns that apply, just generally speaking, long range weapons. Fly worse than short range weapons. In basically all cases. I wonder if there's a double wormhole right here because there's another signature here and there's we've got like hospitals and different NPCs on the scan. These kind of hospitals and liminals, you usually find them at wormholes, not at these normal uh, planets that are respawning. Alright, last of Edmac over there. Popped. Let's go to the mobile tractor unit and see what we've got in here. Perhaps we could place more mobile tractor units. But we don't have any more, I think. Any decently here? here? No, only 5 million. What about the other one? And another 5 million, I mean, 10 million so far, and we've not uh, salvaged anything. Invasion loot. Holographic transcribers used to be really valuable, now they're hardly worth anything. Dock up. 
Actually, wait one second. We can uh, align first this restock station, but I want to mark all these MTUs. Just so we have them for reference. So we can now walk back with a bit of a salvage fit. Fit the salvage fit over here. Let's go. It's unfortunate that we didn't encounter respawning trig larvae in waves because I was thinking that that would be the case. But it was interesting to see at least a bit of a, like an aggressive type of wormhole. We had encountered quite a lot of NPCs there. And it was sort of like a half-finished wormhole. It's a bit strange, but like a half-finished wormhole that didn't fully get, was not for really fully finished. And then a lot of them spawned back in. Uh, I'm guessing this is another initial fleet or something like that. I would like to take them out and then wait and then see if we can get some respawning fleets. But due to real life reasons, I don't think I'll be able to do that right now. But we'll be able to salvage loot to see what we get. Uh, there's a saber over here. I wonder if he's here to steal or here to just uh, scout the area for a wormhole. It could be that he's just uh, looking for some PvP. We'll hope for that. <laughs> but you never know. With the notorious people of Eve Online, can where everyone's out to get you can be a different situation sometimes. It can be a fine line between someone just passing by and someone doing everything they can to stop you from doing what you're doing. Scan resolution script here makes me lock stuff up quicker, so it could be good for salvaging, just to lock up your salvage quicker. A very minute difference, but it's something. I can put this scan as this, uh, sensor booster to some use here while we're salvaging. Okay, where's the other MT? So far I got only 15 million. Let's see if this other pile of loot here is worth anything, worth something else. That was not a whole lot of loot. Not salvage. No, nothing in the MTU. I thought maybe we would have brought something new in because we emptied it before, but then it maybe salvaged some new wrecks. Doesn't seem like it's close enough to anything to salvage it. Or we'll grab them in. You can see here where are some more wrecks. There's some wrecks over here. And some wrecks over there. We could just warp to them, to be honest. And we can maybe make a new tab, actually. Wrecks, so I can see all the wrecks. We have wrecks over here. Got a few left. Go to those ones that are really far away. Did we get anything? Oh, 62 million. We got 33 million. That's quite a bit more. Decent, decent. And we're not even done yet. Suddenly we got a lot. I think those from those hospitals, perhaps. What is the reason these salvages? Five kilometers, okay. I don't think we'll be able to salvage at the same time as this one. We'll see, we'll see though. Let's grab this last one, this last Damovic. There we go. See what the total haul is? Oh, it wasn't that much more. 33 million. But it's decent. I mean, we've got something. It was, um, we could maybe get more in this amount of time, but still, we got a significant amount of isk and we're an alpha clone. This is one third of our ship back right here. Ship is only worth 100 million isk. So as I said before, I would have liked to find more respawning Triglavian waves. Unfortunately, we did not. I could probably some other time go for that, but I would have liked to just take out these initial fleet that's right here and then wait a bit and find more respawning fleets. But unfortunately, due to real life reasons, I have to be off now. But it was fun and it was useful because I feel like it's good to fine tune my skills right here, being able to use this fit well. Because if I can use this fit well, I can explain to you guys how to use it also more properly. Because it just the nugget's so great for solo trig larvae hunting as an alpha clone, it's really great. And if you're in a group, it will, could imagine it would be even better. You wouldn't even have to move, you just snipe stuff before they even just uh, get in uh, range, really. Although you don't have to move at all, they just uh, die this moment they spawn. That's enough for now. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.